All right, so today I'm going to be taking a look at the Ace Combat 7 VR gameplay. This is something that I haven't seen before and I'm pretty excited. I'm super interested in the PlayStation VR and this is kind of the first big game that it's going to be uh, put into use for. So let's go ahead and check it out. This is very cool, but I can't really tell if the quality is dumbed down for the VR. It doesn't seem to look like it. I don't know because we haven't seen true gameplay without the VR, but I, I'm just assuming it's going to be the same quality as playing on the VR and not playing on the VR. I, I don't know though. I also heard that locking onto a plane is just you looking at the plane. As far as I know, all you have to do is continue to look at it. I'm also not sure if this is just a regular campaign mission or if this is sort of like just an arcade mode. I'm guessing they just put out a little test demo. I'm not sure, but the map looks really cool. Just the detail put into the clouds and everything just it, it looks very clean to me i also love the hud for this now it it looks so i don't know how to explain it it's like i feel like there's something about the hud that just makes it the coloring i think the coloring is different that i don't know there's something that makes it look different especially whenever you lock onto a plane it looks very cool though I like this. So I'm guessing he switched between long range missile and short range. He had some sort of special missile. Cause you know, as in every Ace Combat game, you can switch between your two missiles. You can have your special and then regular. And I also wonder where, where does the ammunition display on the screen? Now I see they have speed, altitude, but then where are missiles and the ammo? That's kind of like the only thing I really don't see right now. I'm also wondering if they're playing this on the PlayStation 4 Pro or if they're playing this on just the normal PlayStation 4. I'm not too sure. This looks very clean. The frame rate is super smooth. It, it looks great actually. So I think the one thing that would be very cool about this is that if they had some sort of I guess landing procedure with the VR, I think that would be another cool realistic uh, feature to the game. But also, I just have a lot of questions about this. Now, I know this is going to be the first major game with PlayStation VR that's kind of going to be highly focused on that. But I also wonder, you know, just a lot of things about it. Where is your HUD going to be at? Because I know it's there in the plane, but where do you see your ammunition? How do you lock on? Because I've heard rumors that I guess you just have to keep looking at the plane or does it automatically lock on? Or can you just switch by looking at a plane or can you switch with the controller? I'm not really too sure about that. I wish I knew a lot more of the details about it. Um, I'm hoping that I can pick up a PlayStation VR. This makes me really interested because it looks extremely smooth. I wanna know that if this is on the PlayStation Pro 4 or not, on the new PlayStation, which, you know, everything runs a lot smoother on there since it's upgraded hardware and all. Yeah, it, it doesn't say whether it's on the, uh, the new PlayStation or not. So that kind of, I don't know, that makes me interested if it's going to run, uh, if there's going to be a lot of frame drops, just like in The Last Guardian, whether some places is going to be extremely laggy, some places is going to run just as smooth as, you know, your normal, uh, gameplay on the PlayStation Pro, but I think in general, this is kind of what I expected. It's a lot better than Infinity. It's a lot better than Assault Horizon. It looks like your normal dogfight combat in Ace Combat. It looks like your original from the roots Ace Combat gameplay from 4, 5, and 0. It looks amazing to me, honestly, and I think that this is going to be you know, if not one of the best Ace Combat games. I'm definitely interested more into the uh, the VR aspect of the game, you know, if they're going to have different procedures, if they're going to have, you know, what if you get to play in these different modes or missions? Are we going to be able to use it in online maybe? You know, who knows? That's kind of all up in the air. I just have a lot of questions and I hope they get answered in the near future. I think that this is an amazing feature to the Ace Combat series in general. I think this is going to involve a lot of casual fans who maybe aren't as interested in Ace Combat as we might be, who might just want to check out VR because, you know, they bought the PlayStation VR and they don't really have a game for it. I think that this is going to help out with the sales too in general. And this is just a great move, honestly. Now, as far as in terms of regular gameplay, I want to see what the difference is going to be between the VR 
and the regular gameplay, whether one performs a lot better than the other or if one is graphically more enhanced than the other because you know i wonder if that you have to be put into a certain mode to play the vr or if you can just play the normal campaign with it i don't know this definitely gets me interested in buying the vr and i i plan on it especially if the price goes down and maybe the near future i don't know i really hope it does or maybe they can involve a bundle with it i think that would be cool too i'm not sure though because the vr is pretty expensive in general but aside from all that I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. Do you think this looks like a great idea and a great move for Ace Combat? Or do you think that this is going to be the downside of it? Do you think that, you know, that we're going to be able to use this in all of the modes? Or maybe there's going to be a special mode? I want to know your thoughts and ideas in the comment section below. And also, if you guys want to talk about this more and more, I do have a Discord, which you can find in the description down below. Let's go ahead and talk about that. I think this would be amazing. I just, I want to talk about this. I need someone to talk about this with. And with all that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys then. Yeah.